Hello and welcome to What's Moving in the Forex Market, brought to you by myself, Kurt Capra, and Pristine Trading. As always, please keep in mind that all comments are for educational purposes only and should not be construed as investment advice. All right, today we're going to take a little bit of a, a different approach. Instead of looking at everything and where things may be headed, I'm going to actually focus on one specific pair. And as you can see, I've got the US dollar yen pair up here uh, in, in the window. And that's the one I want to focus on here because I think this is the one that has some really great opportunity, not just in the coming days, but what could be in the coming weeks and maybe even months. And I'll show you why I feel that way here as we look across multiple time frames. But one of the first things you might notice is not just the downtrend that we've had in place here, but also if you look at this uh, upper left corner here, I've got this uh, indicator, if you will. And as you can see, I mean, everything almost is, is dead red. So the hourly is red, four hour, daily, weekly, monthly. So every everything is pointed lower and that has something to do with it. I mean, I don't just blindly look at this and say, oh, well, if all of these are red, then I'm going to be going short with, with no plan. Of course, we need the plan, but when they are all aligned, your trading odds increase. So as you can see, again, we've been in a downtrend. In fact, I was playing this sideways range here last week. I got short a couple times. I got short in here, made a little bit uh, on the way down, and then I also shorted up in here and rode it down to the bottom of the range again before the end of the week and things started to just kind of chop around. So as you can see here now, we've finally broken the bottom of this range and, and we've been on our way moving lower. So everything is looking great and we're not extended. It's not climactic, very controlled move. So I will continue to look for opportunity on this hourly time frame to get short. But, you know, as I said earlier, we want to make sure the larger time frames are in our favor and not just blindly look at something like this and say, oh, well, if it's red, that means it's headed lower. You know, because the question is, well, yeah, while that's red and, and it is headed lower, how much more room does it have? Because something that this doesn't tell me is where's the next level of support? which could have a major influence on where price goes. So let's take a look here at the daily chart. And you can see here that on the daily, it is coming down to support. So there is valid reason to think that it's going to try and stabilize here. It's done so one, two, three other times. So why should this time be any different? Well, you know, because of the larger time frames, I think that it will it will be different. And, and while it may still try to hold this area, you can see that we are getting a little weaker. You, you've got some lower highs forming. We weren't able to push all the way to the top of the range here. So uh, it's not out of the woods. It's not, you know, it's not uh, fully bearish at this point. Once it breaks this level, then we can really look to start getting more aggressive. But I am definitely looking for and expecting that this will be able to move below these lows, uh, although in the short term we may see a bounce. So be aware of that. But again, bigger picture here, we're going to jump out to the weekly. And you can see here the weekly, we've got this big rounded top, right? First of all, nice move up, right? Break out from a sideways pause, beautiful rally, pull back, another nice move up. Just some really nice action and again another breakout here. But since then, right, tried to continue, failed. Bearish move down, lower high, another drop. So at this point, it's going sideways below these moving averages with room to fall back down towards this, we'll call it the 105 area and even back down towards the, the 101 to 100 level if things really start to get in gear here, which I think that they can. So that that is the potential downside opportunity that exists here when you look at the weekly. And as I said, if we can just break these lows that we looked at on the daily, if we can break under these these lows and this support, then there's really not much to stop this and it will then begin to accelerate.
okay and then again we'll take a look at the monthly here just to go full circle and you know even look at the monthly beautiful rally from the lows i mean just an incredible opportunity here from from the bottom and this if you look back this is going back to 2012 so for a significant amount of time you know four years or so this has been trending higher on the monthly chart it rallied up into resistance and what do you know that's where it stopped that's where it rolled over so we've got this wide range bar down on the monthly and as i said you know this could easily on the monthly just continue to fall down into this 105 to 100 area and then we'll see if it stabilizes right because quite honestly if it were to pull back there i mean that's only like a 50 percent retracement of the move up from the low that wouldn't be that bearish but i'm not looking to get that far ahead of myself here either in the short term the opportunity is to the downside and so going back to the daily you know, it's just a matter of breaking this low and and then continuing to see this catch momentum and, and get more and more bearish and find those opportunities. So look for the daily to continue to set up and flow to the downside quite nicely. And if you're looking for those intraday opportunities, the hourly, basically any retracement into resistance, any pause and breakdown will provide opportunity to get short. So be ready because, as I said, I think it's coming. And, and hopefully this will have you prepared for when that happens as well. So um, hopefully you enjoyed this type of format. You know, if, if you do, make sure to like or comment in the comment section below. And we can continue to do this kind of review of a more focused uh, pair that, that may present some nice opportunity. And, you know, of course, not everything is going to have this longer term opportunity in front of it, but even if we could find something that's got some, uh, some potential movement for the coming week or, or a couple weeks, what have you. But, uh, again, hopefully you enjoyed the, the video. And as I said before, um, make sure to check out our, lineup of free webinars you can check out the full schedule at www.pristine.com where we do this kind of analysis you know all the time so hopefully you'll join us there but until next time stay patient stay disciplined and stay confident and we'll talk again soon